I'm Mike Liesenbaum from the Holocaust Museum, and I'm going to talk with you guys about how we um, bring our uh, material into from the page for transcription and translation, and then how we export it out. Um, so let me attempt to share my screen now. Yay, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, okay, so yeah, so here's just a very um, uh, quick high-level overview. Um, so we have our own AAAF infrastructure here at the museum. Um, we use that, uh, the, the URLs for our AAAF manifests, we provide them to from the page, which supports this interface. And uh, that very seamlessly um, gets our project in place for volunteers to transcribe and in some cases translate. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, we built a custom utility uh, that interfaces with from the pages IIIF system to um, extract the uh, transcription and translation data. That gets um, stored as um, that, that gets stored in our digital assets management system as metadata on the asset. And in turn, that is then um, exported as XML uh, for entry into solar. And it's also then reincorporated into our IIIF manifest uh, for display on our collection search catalog. So I'm gonna try to walk you through that um, visually as best I can in the short time I have, but um, so he, here's an example of um, a, a record on our in our catalog that is AAAF enabled, and um, and I'll we'll get back to this a little later on. But basically, what I want to show here is just here's here's an example of a AAAF manifest, and so all we have to do is basically copy this URL, paste it into from the page, and then um, and then volunteers can can go to town on it. I'm just trying to see how I can minimize the, can I, there we go. Okay, I just couldn't see my tabs because the zoom was in the way. Okay, so yeah, so here's an example of AAAF manifest and we can just copy this URL into from the page uh, and that works, that works very nicely. Um, so once the material then is transcribed and translated, we use from the page, um, IIIF output to uh, extract it. So here's the, the uh, main page for all of the IIIF collections in from the page. And I'm gonna look for the collection we were looking at. Um, so here we have it, uh, the Dreyfus Diary. I'm gonna click on that. That brings us to the collection for this diary. And that contains a series of manifests which correspond to what are called works within from the page. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down to the one we were looking at. <clears throat> um, here we go. So, okay. So you, so you see here, um, this is the manifest for diary D. And um, here's the from the page manifest and here's our manifest. And Nick pointed out nicely earlier about the challenges when you don't import from IIIF um, because you don't have a reference to map back to. So here you see we have our IIIF with our identifiers and that's key to us, us being able to map back to our systems. Um, so I'm gonna click here and just kind of drill down a little bit as an example. So here is the manifest for that particular diary. And we're gonna look for the sequences attribute, which contains canvases. And each canvas is essentially an image that's being acted upon and from the page transcribed and or translated. So here's the first item and uh, here, here's the first canvas. And if we go down a little bit, you can see that there's something um, here, page status. So based on this, we know, okay, this particular um, canvas or image has a transcript and a translation. 
Uh, and there are other things that could be here too. For example, something else we're interested in is if the page is marked blank. Um, this one obviously is not marked blank, but that's also data that we want to track. So now that we know that it has a transcript um, as, well as, as well as a translation, we can act upon those things. So here you see um, all of the references to the various um, formats for transcriptions and translations. So we pull in plain text for search as well as HTML for display. So um, I'll just briefly click there and you see we have the HTML version and then here we have plain text. Um, and then what I'm gonna show here is basically once all the code, so basically the code goes through every manifest in the collection. You can optionally exclude particular works if you're not ready. Um, you can also optionally skip items that are not that are that are not marked as being completely reviewed. But ultimately, once it's done, we have um, what I call here trip transcriptions organized by resource. Resource is essentially the um, asset ID in our digital assets management system. So now it's nicely organized um, by ID, and we have the plain text, the HTML, some other additional formats. And we can just go through this list, loop through, and just update our database and associate these transcriptions and translations with the asset in our system. And it's the same for um, um, it's the same for the translations. Uh, we have a, a separate list for that. And then here is just a list of um, of asset IDs for pages that were marked blank. In the from the page system. So um, yeah, so then from there we um, we have it in our digital assets management system, and then it's exported into Solar as well as back into our AAAF manifest as metadata items there. Um, and then uh, we can search and view it in our catalog. So I know I'm probably running out of time, but I'll just do a quick search here for a. A, a keyword that I know will return that collection. Scroll down. Um, and here we go. We have the Lucian Dreyfus papers. And um, here's a custom view we created. And basically, these are this is showing everywhere, every page in this collection that has a match on transcribed and or, and or translated um, data from, from the page. So we can go to D, which is what we're looking at. We can click on any of these pages. And that will now deep link us into the collection, bring us down to the viewer and pop out the transcript uh, here, as well as the translation. And then it's a standard AAA viewer. You can zoom in and you can read along with the, with the, the transcript. And I'll just show one more point here in that now you can see if we look at this, if we look at our manifest now, you can see in the metadata here, we have that stored as HTML. And if we were to go into the solar instance, you, would, you could also see the plain text there. So just to drive that home, but um, I'll, I'll leave it there. Thanks everybody.